Hey guys, just another quick video here on some more hidden features. Okay, so we're going to kind of look at how you're busing things. So on your channel here, you're going to go ahead and click the, <clears throat> the farthest um, down box here on the left. And this is where you can uh, choose where you're sending this channel to. Okay, so these are first five here are set up as um, post fader. And that is, okay, so up here you could actually change that, but we have it linked to bus. So this is going to, the bus is going to decide how it's set up. So I'm just going to jump to bus one here real quick. And you can see we have it set up as post fader because it's uh, in effect, okay? So let's go back to the channel here. And these are sending posts. So you have a pre-tap point up here, but that is not affected by these posts. Post is going to get sent everything in this channel strip. Okay, but if we're mixing in ears over here or monitors of some sort, um, the pre-tap point is going to be is going to affect these. So on this bus number seven, we can choose whether or not this channel is always on or if it follows the mute, the main mute of the channel. Okay, we can have it. Um, we can change the pan here if we want, or we could just link it to the channel. And however we pan the channel in the main setup, it's going to follow there. Uh, if we link to bus here, that means however you set up that bus is going to be, this is going to follow that. Or you could set it up here for this uh, single channel, I guess. Or it probably changes the whole bus. I'm going to assume it changes the whole bus. Let's see. Post fader. So it changes that whole bus from this one channel. So I'm just going to leave those as linked to bus and allow the, the bus to um, decide what's going on with those. Okay, but this pre-tap point here, for these channels, you can decide what you're sending it. So you could just send it straight in, or you could send it after your first filter, which for me, I think that would be this DS or I have going, um, or after the gate. Oh no, the first filter is the low and high cut. And then the gate, well, for me, is a de because I've changed it to a de -esser. And you have compressor, and you could go all the way down to post fader there. So there's that pre-tap. Also, if, let's say, you pre-hear, you could EQ with this little three-band EQ. You'd have to engage it up here in the top left. And so those people getting the pre-tap point could get a little more EQ if they needed to. Okay, so that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, we just kind of ran through that there. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. And if you've been watching these videos, it's really appreciated. Uh, and if you go ahead and check out the link in, um, the description, you can check out my reverb shop and, uh, get some, uh, good deals there. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. Take care.